And good afternoon, welcome to 3 Bingo's video. <sighs> this time here we're bringing you the Badger, the tier 10 on the line. Um, I actually have two battles that we prepared for you. So that one is going to be um, a replay, the other one is going to be a live battle. So hopefully you guys sit back, relax, and well, enjoy the show. Fucking firestorm on you. Um, it's a solemn day for me and everything. I said, lost one. So, you know, birthday's tomorrow. So, I'm not really feeling the love when it comes to tanks and everything. I'll that right this second. But I don't want to bring these replays to the end, so it'll be cool. Birthday is. Um, I'm gonna be, of course, doing a down the line series. Sorry, not down the line series. Um, showcase of vehicles so today. So you'll know if you want to go down the British line or not. Um, it, all the line does play the same. Just that the tier 10 is a bit of a special case from where it was before. Um, of course, you know, people remember so that you probably did have before you had the Death Star. And this is the replacement. So you have to go by the fun factor. The Death Star was, you know, epic fun. Even when you lost, it was you know, had that fun factor. This tank doesn't have that fun factor. I mean, it has the same vein as the um, the Bobjet version four, but the problem is a, it's way slower than a Bobjet. B. Um, the lower plate is the lower plate is crap compared to the object. So you get pinned more and everything else like that. So this basically you have to stay back, play sniper mode and everything else like that. Um, and as soon as they dab the two key wall, they penetrate your hull. I mean, it doesn't matter what you do at that point, hull will get penetrated. Um, the gun is awesome at times. That in one minute this gun sings and it's like. Can pin anything like it's like it's nothing. Next minute, it's like, why did I shot my pin? What? So it leaves you questioning really your life. One minute, like I said, it makes you feel great. You can do no wrong. Next minute, it's like the RNG gods that says no. And again, I've had situations where the tank is literally today. I was facing um, the tier ten tank so that. It was literally less than 50 meters from me. Hitting the weak spot. Bounce. Weak spot again. Bounce. Three times in a row. I'm like, what the absolute F. So, you know, the gun is great when it works, and when it doesn't, you get F'd. Now, again, this battle here is like that. You know, I'm wanking in the bush, and that's what you will do a lot of. You will wank in the bush, even though you take note that when I, I tend to play this tank very aggressively so i'm kind of forward compared to the of course the rest of the heavy stuff i mean so if you push too far forward with this tank you will get effed um because it's basically you have to be at that correct angle so you don't get lower pain um and if you're not sorry if you're not at the correct angle so your lower plate is not being seen they're gonna go through it like butter and after a while they'll be like okay they'll stop bouncing here once they bounce once or twice the first thing they're gonna do is say okay they're gonna dab that two key and pin you right um well, basically right here and right here it, it it is what it is um you cannot make this gun sing the way you really want to so that you want to be in a situation where you can be at one spot and just say blah 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 so basically they have to be I, I hate to say stupid or slow or not really paying attention to be directly in front of you and just to let putting bullets upon bullets in it. if they do this tank will work great if they have any where with all at all, so they know it's like, okay, you know, pull back, track you, you 
burn your repair. They track you again, and then they'll just lightly drive around you because since your sidearm is absolute crap, and they're gonna again put boxes of bullets into your side. So this tank is, if you can, if it has to be in the correct one circumstance where you can hide your lower plate, you can be next to a wall if you can, so they can only come around you one direction. Um, and again, I played it with having two repair kits in one repair kit. Um, if you play really, really close, you definitely want to play with the two repair kits. If you want to play it more as a medium range TD, you can get away with one repair kit. Um, but again, the minute they, they get around you, you're effed. Just think of it like that. Your game is over the minute that you see them track you. And again, since you're so slow to turn, they track you again and that's it, game over. You don't got that turret to, um, to, to save your life. Now, the fire angle of the turret is pretty sweet, but the tier nine actually does it a bit better. Um, so that's the thing you have to take into account for that. For some odd reason, tier nine to me, armor-wise, is better. Um, now I'm not going to say it's so that you know tier nine ones gold and so that, but it, to me it's just slightly better in there. In the okay, so let's let's see if we can get the shot off now. At longer ranges, the gun is, again is sweet. It will treat you right most of the time. But again, sometimes it, 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 it won't work. But as you can see right here, so that I'm on the front line. I'm actually climbing into the situation right here, and I'm like, okay. Auto aim, like an auto aim loop. And I and note that I could have driven out directly around, and that would have been a better thing to do. But I'm so used to, okay, drive next to a rock so that way there, it'll be harder for me to just insta flank you. You know, so that's the best thing that I, I what that works, that's what works for me. Um, you wank in the bush, battle two, you'll see this, the same thing will happen. I'm going to still push forward, and you know, even though I'm pushing way forward more than my team, uh, than the rest of my team. Which shouldn't happen. You should actually have scouts scouting for you so you can make your gun sing. But that doesn't seem to happen. It's not really a team game that way. So in this one here today, you will definitely be using, you know, just, just like what I was saying right there. If there's a guy in front of you just sitting there, just, oh, 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 oh. yeah, you can, you can lull kill him easily. Uh, but most tankers are not going to be like that guy there that's AFK. Most tankers are going to be maneuvering. Most tankers are going to go back and forth to try to make sure you miss. Okay. And again, firing on a move, you figure so that the you know, biggest that tank is, lower plane is showing so that most of it. If I stopped, I would have had a better thing. Well, um, take a look at um, post, do the post game for this battle right here. So that, and then from there, Take a look at Battle 2 instead, and then you'll see it in a different environment. It's basically going to be the same thing. Camp and Bush. And try to let the gun sing. This is the victory here. The next battle will be defeat, and you'll see why it's a defeat. Again, because of the reasons I was spoke about earlier. But, you know, thank you for watching this like that. Warp on the Jing Sin Warp Out. Again, catch the second half of this. Have fun. Please hit that like, subscribe, and everybody have the channel out. Until then. Catch you later.
and our team's full length pack of custom cards. Because all of your. Why the fuck all? All. Wow. Special's kind of stupid. I don't care. Because <laughs> that was straight up and down stupid. Now, it's a shame that I had to load the gold to hit the lower plate. But, and even then, I was still bouncing it for that. But it, it's fine. It is fine and dandy. It's the only thing the good badge is good for. And even then, and it coming straight at you like that? Nope. 